According to this report in The Hollywood Reporter, for the first time ever, Nielsen ratings are telling us that people are using their TVs to watch cable less than half the time. Cable and broadcast. Traditional TV, we'll just call that. Traditional TV is taking up people's televisions for less now than 50% of the time. Streaming has gone up. Video game usage has gone up. All these sorts of things. Now, when it comes to television entertainment, broadcast, traditional TV is still the king. It, it, it's outpacing streaming right now. But streaming has grown, whereas traditional TV has been falling off a cliff. Now, on top of that, a newest report just came out that said when you get all the big major cable providers, in the last quarter, they collectively lost another 1.7 million subscribers. So just in the last couple of months, another 1.7 million people have cut the cable or cord cutters, as they're referred to as. They no longer have cable or traditional broadcast television. They're relying on streaming and things like that. So when we go over and actually look at the numbers, this is what the numbers tell us. So when you look at traditional television, that's cable and broadcast, they make up 49.6% of television usage. Streaming has gone up again, for like the millionth quarter in a row, to 38.7% of streaming or, or of uh, television uses. And other, which includes things like DVD players, things like video games, uh, stuff like that, other represents 11.6% of a television's use. This is interesting. When you go into the streaming service, number one is still YouTube, which is not really what we think of as a streaming service, but we do stream it. So YouTube gets used the most at 9.2%. That's what's on people's televisions the most. Netflix, 8.5%. Hulu, 3.6%. Prime Video, 3.4%. Disney Plus, 2%. Max, 1.4%. Tubi at 1.4%. Peacock at 1.1%. The Roku Channel at 1.1%. Paramount Plus at 1%. Pluto TV at 09 And all others, 5%. There's a really neat number in here. I got to see if I can find this. Uh, you can take it off my screen for now. I'll see if I can look it up here in a second. But I mean, it, this is kind of shocking in two different ways. I think there's probably a lot of people out there that are going to be stunned to find out that traditional television is still 50% of the use of the, I think there are probably some people out there that thought maybe that marker was passed a long time ago, but it wasn't. And all the talk about streaming and streaming taking over traditional television has still been king. I guess in a way it still is in that it's outpacing streaming per se, but for the first time, when you go into a house and a TV is on, you now have less than a 50% chance that traditional television is up on that TV. It's either going to be Max, or it's going to be YouTube, or it's going to be Netflix, or it's going to be Pluto, or it might be Baldur's Gate 3 which I finally started playing. Yay! But we'll put that aside for a second. Had to cheat, though. I had to use an online streaming service to play because it still made my computer crash. But anyway, but I'm playing it now. Thank you, GeForce Now. <laughs> uh, so uh, that that's all these side things. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. Did you know that the average person has around 12 paid subscriptions and they might not even remember to subscribing to half of those? If you have no idea just how much you're spending each month, you need Rocket Money. It's this great app that tracks all of your expenses so you know exactly where your money is going. I recently just found out that over 80% of people have subscriptions that they've completely forgotten about. Seriously, think about how many free trials you subscribe to that you just probably never canceled. And that's why I'm such a big fan of Rocket Money because I was one of those people. When I signed up to Rocket Money, I was stunned to find out that a gym I had belonged to in another city I lived in, I had still been paying my dues to for over two years. Also, that music subscription service I use, yeah, I forgot I was subscribed to two other ones. That's where Rocket Money comes in because Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. With over 3 million users and counting, Rocket Money customers have saved on average of $720 a year. So stop wasting money on things you you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. Rocketmoney.com slash campia. Chris, you hear about this. I don't believe there's anybody watching this that believes this trend will change. No. Nobody believes that broadcast television, traditional television is going to make a comeback. It is now in hospice. 
It is just like doing the best it can in its dying days. But what do you think about these numbers we've just seen? You know, they're not surprising at all, but it is a very definitive inflection point in the industry and how viewers consume everything. We also have this lovely point where streaming is going to continue increasing. It's going to continue being higher and higher priced for all of us, but I don't see anyone going back to cable. I can see people going back to a bundle similar to what cable used to do and what we've seen Disney try to do with like Hulu and ESPN and things like that. But cable television is for sure the way of the dodo. The only thing surprising here is that this is at a halfway point marker, right? That almost 50% number is the most jarring part of, oh my gosh, that many people still have cable? Yeah, it's crazy, it's right? It's wild. But it is really funny though to see people constantly talking about, gosh, I have to have all these streamers. It'd be so nice to have something where I just had one thing that I paid one <laughs> amount of money for and all my shows were there. And you're like, I mean, we had that. Yeah. We had that before. <laughs> and we wanted to get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, this is kind of interesting. Also in this Holly Reporter, Ray, I think you're going to get a kick out of this. Holly Reporter also said this in that same report. Acquired series led the streaming bump in July oh. with Suits which of course has just been blowing everything up four years after its cancellation with suits on Netflix and Peacock accounting for more than 18 billion minutes of viewing during the month, about the same amount of viewing time as stranger things had in July of 2022. Okay. Hold on, camera back on me. I, I want you to, to keep this in mind though. Okay. So it did as well. Stranger things, stranger things is a new show. Suits is a show that got canceled four years ago. <laughs> And it is currently doing as good numbers as the brand new Stranger Things. That's kind of crazy. But here's the part that Ray's going to like. Oh, yeah. Is it about 90 Day Fiance? <laughs> Even it's better, a, buddy. Sex Court TV. No. Oh. Disney Plus's Bluey yeah. had about 5 billion minutes of viewing for the month. I don't know why they felt like they had to slide that in there, but a little bit in there for Ray. <laughs> Come on, man. It just shows you that. People are watching. The people want Bluey. People yeah. want Bluey. The new seasons on Disney Plus, I have a feeling there's a couple of people out there that had to get a subscription just to watch Bluey. I, I want to believe that. That there's some people out there who said, oh, the new season of Bluey's going on to Disney Plus? I got to get a subscription now. There has to be at least a couple people, right? There's got to be at least Are more. You looking at, you're and looking at me like I'm foreign right there now. There has to be at least I, more than one, right, Ray, is what you're I, saying? I, I have certainly not met any of those people, but I'm oh. sure they exist. I'm sure they are there. Bluey, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Bluey. What do you think about this whole thing? Are you still a cable subscriber? Guess what? I think the only reason that cable still has as much as cable and broadcast is two reasons. News and sports. Sports is still the thing that the broad, that the streamers haven't really been able to capitalize on. That's, I mean, I have YouTube TV, which is a streamer, but it's got all the broadcast stations. But the only reason I have YouTube TV is so I can watch my sports. I mean, once streaming really gets on board with that, it's probably going to go even faster. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Make sure you like and subscribe. But also, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast available on your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and find it, the John Campia Show Podcast, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your preferred podcasting app.